Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you 10 ways to make your home look more luxurious, high-end, and expensive without spending a ton of money. I think the key to getting that designer, magazine-worthy look in your space is actually all in the details, as opposed to spending a lot of money on specific pieces. So if you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And I wanna give a huge thank you to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Something that I think is very important to remember when furnishing your home or even furnishing a specific room of your home is to mix your materials. Make sure you have at least three different materials in one room, wood, linen, leather, that's three right there. If you have just wood tables and linen furniture, it all just comes off a little bit flat and you're not gonna get that elevated, collected designer look. Mixing colors, textures, and fabrics is actually gonna really help give you that designer look. If you really love a specific material, like velvet, pick a velvet sofa and then complement that sofa with other materials. It's actually gonna help make that furniture piece stand out more and highlight that material that you really love. The key to that designer look is having this collected, really thought out looking space that complements each other nicely instead of directly matching each other. This is especially helpful if you wanna go with the same colored furniture. I picked all white furniture for my living room, but I mixed materials. I have a linen sofa and I have boucle side chairs. So that gives you multiple materials going on, different textures and a little bit more interest. This will take a little bit more effort, a little bit more thought, but I think it's gonna give you that elevated designer look. Now, one thing you can do in your kitchen to make it look a little bit more luxurious and designer is be intentional about what's left out on your countertops. Make sure that everything that's left out has a purpose, but it also has style. You can do this in a small way when it comes to soap dispensers and tea towels and canisters, but you can also do this with small appliances. They can be a decorative piece on your countertop just as much as they are a functional piece. This is one little change that I'm gonna be making to my kitchen. I have these old tired appliances on my countertops and they're not really aiding to the design of my kitchen. So I'm taking my own advice and swapping out these small appliances for brand new white and gold appliances from Walmart. So thank you so much to Walmart for sponsoring today's video. These pretty appliances are from Drew Barrymore's beautiful line exclusively sold at Walmart. I absolutely love everything in this collection. The prices are amazing. The styles are incredible. The entire line has the this vintage modern look that's really chic and on trend. They have everything from toasters to knife blocks, griddles and air fryers, and everything can be delivered straight to your door. The beautiful kitchenware collection is the perfect way to make your home look expensive on a budget. I shopped the beautiful toaster, this kettle, and the blender so that I can have all of my necessities out on display in my kitchen, looking stylish while keeping my kitchen functional. I love that these aren't your standard stainless steel appliances. They come in black, gray, blue, green, and white, and you can pick something that's gonna stand out in your kitchen or something that's gonna blend into your design. I went with white and gold since I do have a lighter kitchen. The gold helps bring out the warm tones of the countertops and the white really helps bring out all of the cabinetry. They're actually all touch activated displays as well, so there's no buttons and there's nowhere for food and dirt to get stuck in. I love that it's sleek and modern looking and it keeps everything really clean. That way you can wipe everything down, the displays turn off on their own, and it keeps everything looking clean and tidy. I've always had very basic appliances and a very basic kettle, so this kettle completely blew me away. There's so many amazing settings built right in. You can hit boil, black tea, white tea, or green tea to hit the perfect temperature. It also has a warming feature that will keep your water warm for up to 60 minutes and completely shut off on its own. So this is totally high tech. It's not your basic appliance. It gives you functionality and style all in one. So I cannot recommend these more. I think these would make such a great housewarming gift or just a nice gift to yourself. Sometimes it's not about doing a full kitchen renovation to 
change up the look of your home, you can start small with small appliances. If your countertops are looking a little messy and tired from your old appliances, definitely consider swapping them out for some brand new, fresh, on-trend pieces from Walmart. You don't have to spend a fortune to get an expensive look in your home, so I'll have all of these pretty little pieces linked down below in the description box so you guys can shop them as well. Oh, here's a really fun, affordable DIY that you can do over the weekend that's gonna completely elevate your space. Paint your interior doors a contrasting color. This can be light sage, it could be black, it could be navy, it could be a complementary color that you use around your home that's gonna help bring your space to life. Contrasting doors create this custom look and you can achieve that with paint. You don't have to go out and buy brand new doors, you can get that same look for less. This is extremely impactful, especially if you have a door at the end of a hallway or maybe you have a hallway full of doors paint the doors and it will add so much drama so if you're looking around at your space and you don't want to buy new furniture you don't know where to start when you're decorating maybe consider painting those doors and trust me it will change your entire home now something you should absolutely stay away from are themes no coastal themes no bedroom themes stay away from themes you can create that same feeling that these themes give you in a designer way. If you really love the coastal theme, don't be too literal with it. Stay away from any themed pillow covers and themed coasters and signs. Bring in different textures that kind of give off that coastal theme. You can still maintain that same beachy color palette, but in a little bit more of a toned down, not theme way. If your kids really want a princess room and a Batman room, definitely go for it because that is pure happiness. But if they don't really care and you want to go for a little bit more of an elevated look in those spaces, you can pick playful colors, playful textures. I did this in my niece's bedroom makeover. We stayed away from themes, but we had a lot of fun with playful textures and colors and different design elements around the space to really make it feel like a fun kid's room. One thing that every high-end designer home has in common is the use of wall wall sconces. Wall sconces give off that instant custom high-end look and they don't even have to be very expensive light fixtures at all. Wall sconces add instant detail to your walls. They also add beautiful light to your walls that really highlight pieces nicely and they add another decorative touch to your space. If you're planning out any kind of renovation, plan for wall sconces where you can. You can put them in your kitchen, your bathroom, and your bedroom. Wall sconces can pretty much go anywhere and they will add that beautiful design or detail to your home that it may need. If you're like me and your home did not come with wall sconces, there's no hard wiring for it, you can still implement them into your home in more of a renter-friendly way. There are so many amazing plug-in wall sconces now that instantly add that detail to your home. I installed wall sconces in my guest bedroom and they're plug-in, so I just covered that cord, painted that cord cover, and they look seamless across the wall. Another little lighting detail that makes your space look luxurious is dimmable lights. These could be dimmable lamps, dimmable wall lights, dimmable wall sconces. Anything that's dimmable creates instant luxury. Sometimes when your space is too stark and bright and there's no way of controlling the light, you don't get that custom, comfortable feel in your home. Being able to dim your lights at night and create that moodiness and atmosphere is going to create a high-end luxurious feel. Now, if you don't have any dimmable lights in your home, there's also solutions for that. You can get dimmable wall plugs that really allow you to change any bulb that you already have into a dimmable feature. So you can dim your lamps around your home to create that gorgeous, luxurious look. Another little designer detail that you should absolutely start doing in your home to make it look high-end and gorgeous is layer your rugs. I love the way layered rugs look. I do it all the time because it really helps expand the look of your space to make it look larger, but it also adds detail and interest. It's easy to do. All you do is get one large rug and one smaller rug, lay them down and you have a designer look. You can do this with your front doormat to add some interest. You can do this with your living room rugs, your dining room rugs, and it's going to go such a long way. I think be strategic with it. Bring in two different textures. 
fibers. I love laying down a flat woven natural fiber rug that's larger with a smaller, more patterned, colorful rug on top. That's gonna create some interest, some texture, but they're also not gonna compete against each other. You don't want the two rugs fighting against each other. You want them to kind of seamlessly work together. Another thing that you can do today that's gonna make such a big difference and it's not gonna cost a thing is steam your curtains and steam your bedding. You may have the best curtains, the most beautiful bedding, but if it's totally wrinkly, it's definitely not giving off that luxurious look. Steaming your curtains and your bedding just allows everything to hang really nicely. It allows for beautiful pleats and it just makes the most affordable thing look expensive. Now, another little small designer detail that goes such a long way, and that's the importance of mixing shapes. Mixing different shaped furniture and decor pieces is gonna give you a very interesting look to your home, something that's a little bit unexpected, a little bit designer, and it's gonna elevate your space. If everything in your home is very rectangular and square when it comes to your decor, your furniture, your rugs, it's all just gonna become a little bit boring and flat. Throwing in a round coffee table, an arched mirror, a round rug, bringing in a new shape is going to really create a ton of interest. You can do this in small ways when it comes to vases and mirrors and decorative features around your home, or you can do this in a large impactful way, maybe arching out a doorway. Bringing in this unexpected shape is gonna create a designer elevated look in your space. So if you're looking around at your space and it's looking a little flat and boring, it might be because you don't have enough shapes in your space. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know down below in the comments which one of these design tips was your favorite and which one do you absolutely need to start implementing into your space. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.